Hi, I'm Maggie. Thank you for stopping by Crafts the Charm today. I'm so glad you're here. I live near a fairly busy street, so sometimes there's background noise in my videos, and I just have to live with it. But in one of my intros, there was a pretty loud truck driving by during the intro. It's crafting material, and I'm going to try to come up with some... I thought it would be funny to have a little truck go by on the screen just to make light of that background noise. So I thought I would try to create an animated GIF for that. But I'm no fine artist, so I thought I would look for a free image to work with. And I went to Free Pick and searched on Cartoon Pickup Truck. And I found this cute little red truck by BRGFX. I will include a link in the description. So I brought the truck into Photoshop. And the first thing I want to do is remove all of that white background, because if I leave that in, then it will have a white rectangle around it when it moves across the screen, and that won't look very realistic. So I selected the white, and then deselected the white where it's actually part of the truck drawing, and then deleted that. Now, what I'm going to do is actually flip it so it's pointing the other direction because I plan to have it go from left to right on the screen. So I figured I'd flip it here. And I'm going to put a little Crafts the Charm logo on the door. And I was hoping that my little splatter logo would show up well by itself or that I'd be able to put maybe just a little bit of a white background behind it, but I couldn't get that to work right. So I settled on putting basically an oval of white around it. But you'll notice that the truck door has a sort of a, a bevel to it, or, or it sort of bumps out. So I'm going to go to the layer with the truck drawing and select that sort of lighter part, the beveled part. And then I'm going to remove the parts of the selection that aren't part of the oval, so that are outside of the oval, and then switch to my layer with the oval. That's a really cool thing with Photoshop and probably other graphics packages is that the selection isn't the pixels in a particular layer, it's its own thing and you can move a selection from one layer to another. So then I inverted the selection so that everything except that bevel part was selected and then I changed the brightness of that so that it all uh, was a little bit darker so that it matched the truck. So with the truck, that little bevel is lighter, but the rest of it is darker. And that just made the logo look like it was something that was actually pressed onto or painted onto the truck. Now that I have the truck the way I want it to look, I need to make the frames for the animation. And I decided after some practicing that what I need to do is move the outside of the tire. I don't want to move the little hubcap because then it would look like the light was also moving as, as the truck's wheel moved because it has a, a little bit of a glow in it. So I'm going to select just the tires and I'm going to put those in two separate layers. So I'll have a left tire layer and a right tire layer, and then I'll have the regular truck layer. And originally I thought that I would move in 10 degree increments. And that means 36 separate frames. But what I found was that just was too slow and didn't look right. So I cut that in half and I did 18 separate frames where I'm moving those left and right tires 20 degrees each time. And fortunately in Photoshop, if I choose to rotate, I can select the degrees. So I put minus 20 degrees for each rotation and I did that because when I create the animation, it's going to make the wheels look like they're turning the correct direction as the truck moves left to right. So I saved all of those out into a folder in the PNG format. And this is a format that does preserve that transparency in the back because for each pixel, it has four channels, one for each of the colors, red, green, and blue, and then a fourth channel called the alpha channel for the transparency. So most of the image where you see the color, it's completely opaque. 
but where you can see the little checkerboard, there's no color there. That is going to be completely transparent in the PNG. Now, to make the animated GIF, what I need to do is import all of those images in and I'm going to put them into an animation. So to start, I go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack, and I choose all of those PNG files, and then I just wait for Photoshop to load them all as separate layers into one document. And this is an older version of Photoshop, so this next step might be different, like the, it might be in a different menu, but if I go to Window, there's an animation pane or window, and that's what I choose. It brings up this animation pane at the bottom of the screen, and that allows me to edit the animation. There's a little pull-down menu at the top right of that little animation pane, and from that I chose Make Frames from Layers, because each of the layers is a separate frame of my animation. Now again, from some experiments, I felt that this truck would look more like it was moving if it bounced up and down a little bit. So what I did, because I have 18 frames, I chose a pattern of six frames, and I left the first frame, I left the truck where it is. In the next frame, I just moved it up, I nudged it up one pixel, and then in the next frame, I nudged it up two pixels. In the next frame, it is also nudged up two pixels. In the next frame, it is nudged up only one pixel, and in the next frame, it is where it was originally. And I just repeated that three times so that the truck would appear to be bouncing up and down. Once all the layers have been imported as frames, you can adjust the time. This has it at zero seconds, which means they're just going to run one after the other, and that seemed most appropriate to me. It looked the best. You can see what it looks like by pressing the little play button in the animation frame. So once I was happy with the animation, I chose Save for Web and Devices from the File menu, and then I chose GIF and saved it and Photoshop creates an animated GIF from the animation that we've put together. And if I open that up in the Windows Media Viewer, you can see it's an animated GIF. And I'll include a link here to the video where I have this little animated GIF moving across the screen during my intro. I think there are also online tools that will make an animated GIF for you if you upload the images. I tried to do that initially after I had created the images in Photoshop, but they were too large in size for the tool that I tried to use, and I figured I should probably learn how to do this in Photoshop anyway. So it took a few tries to get it to look the way I wanted, but I was pleased with how it looked in the end. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you enjoy this sort of content, please subscribe to Crafts the Charm. Thank you for spending time with me today. Take care.